Hey everyone, welcome to YouTube. It's January 4th, 2021, and here I am with my fourth in a row story for this year for you. Today we are going to look at a story from the country of Israel. Where is Israel on the map, on the globe? Well, here is Israel. Now, Israel is sometimes, is also known as Palestine. And Palestine uh, is bordering Syria, Lebanon, Egypt, and Jordan. We're gonna put Israel or Palestine, also known as Palestine, here on the hook. So today, you guys are on the hook. <laughs> okay. Well, the story starts off with our solar system. Here, you can see all our planets here in all revolving around the sun. The planets also doing their rotation as well. Now, I like what Mr. Henry Thorpe, uh, Mr. Henry Th Thorpe of NASA. Mr. Henry Thorpe of NASA is an astronomer, and I liked how he described it. He describes the solar system uh, like like a like a racetrack where all the planets are runners in their own lane and while they are revolving they seem like to catch up to each other and what happens is this great conjunction happens oh what is a conjunction okay well a conjunction is when two objects in the celestial sky or space, when they meet or align. This is what happened very recently. Here, this planet, we have, do you know what this planet is? Jupiter. And right, guys, this planet is Saturn. What happens is, according to Mr. Thorpe, he said that we get to see Jupiter from our side. Now, when Saturn went behind it like this, they met. And this is what a conjunction is. When they meet like this, it becomes, it creates this what? This big single source of light. And it was visible on December 21st, 2020. Now, these, what we call our Jupiter-Saturn conjunctions happen every 20 years. Now, the last one was just as I said, December 21st uh, of 2000, of 2020. Now, the next one, of course, uh, these were the closest observed uh, things that happened since 1226 to six, and 1623. These were the last closest observable dates when we saw, when mankind saw these great conjunctions happening. Uh, the next one won't be until 2080. Okay? All right. Now, why is this so important and relevant to our story today of Israel? Well, the story that I have today for you is the story of of the Nativity. Now, the story of the Nativity, as we see here, it happens like this. We see Mary and Joseph. Now, Mary and Joseph went to Bethlehem to pay taxes, according to the story. Uh, there was an angel, the angel Gabriel had descended upon Mary and told her that she would need to go to Bethlehem, which is about six miles from Bethlehem, where she was chosen to have the, the, the Savior, the Messiah, that was prophesied in the Old Testament of the Bible. Now, this meeting behind the, the archangel Gabriel and Mary is called the Annunciation. Now, this, the Annunciation, as chronicled on Luke chapters 1, verses 26 to 28, said, the angel told Mary, Hail, favorite one, the Lord is with you, which is why in Catholicism, we have a prayer that says, Hail, Mary, Hail Mary full of grace. And this is what the Annunciation was with the meeting. Mm -hmm. Joseph and Mary went to Bethlehem to pay taxes, but they couldn't have, they couldn't stay at the inn because everything was so crowded, many people. So that they, so they had to stay at a stable, you know, where the animals uh, live here as well. 
So uh, what happened was that why was Mary chosen was because of this concept of the Immaculate Conception. It is dogma or a very strong belief system that states that the Virgin Mary had been free from original sin from the moment of conception. So, every baby, we are all born you know, with sin, which is why we all get baptized when we're born. Uh, however, with the Virgin Mary, she was said to have been born free of sin. Therefore, she was chosen to give birth to the Messiah, to give birth to the future Jesus, right? Because Jesus would also be born without sin, as well as to sacrifice himself and die for the rest of us without sin, which is why he was resurrected at the very end. Now, the story of the Great Conjunction, it's, it's, it's linked to this story of the Nativity because of what we see right here, right? We call it the Star of Bethlehem or the, the Christmas Star. And that's why we call this more of a, we, we refer to this as a Christmas story uh, because we believe that maybe scientifically this great star was a great conjunction. Now, when this event happened, the angel Gabriel had told the local shepherds that the Messiah would be born. So they, would, they came from the lands to come to visit the birth of Jesus. The Ga Gabriel had also told the wise men. Now, the wise men came from other lands because as prophecy foretold, they saw that the, the, the star had come out and that this was the site of where Jesus would be born. And there the three wise men came and they brought with them gifts for Jesus, right? The gifts that they had brought as chronicled in the Bible Matthew chapter 2, verse 1 through 12, regarding the wise men. They brought gold, frankincense, and myrrh. All were gifts that had very strong spiritual meaning. Okay? And that is the conclusion of our story, because as we know, the rest with Jesus became history. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's story of the Great Conjunction in space, as well as in how we connected it to the Nativity. We'll see you tomorrow with our next story. Benji's out. See you. Good night.